The submit link step is when things start to get a little bit more serious. Here we want to do three things. First, show users a list of their drafts. In other words, uh, links that they've started submitting but they haven't paid for yet. Second, we want to show them a form for creating a new link. And third, if they load a draft, we want to show them uh, that information. In terms of code, well, uh, that means a couple things. First, we'll need to create a new user-sponsored candidate posts view. Um, that's a mouthful. And what this means basically is um, creating a preset that lets uh, people see their drafts. So in Vulkan, a view is a way to uh, aggregate a lot of uh, parameters together to control what data you want to query for. Because in, uh, in Mongo, in MongoDB, uh, you can query using a selector and uh, an options object. But of course, you can't really, uh, or at least you shouldn't pass uh, these uh, selectors and options straight from the client. You don't want to let the user just enter uh, anything they want because they could potentially access private data in your database. So for that reason, uh, Vulkan has this system where you would pass just the name of a view and then on the server, uh, Vulkan will fill in all the properties you want to query on. So these, this way, these properties can't be manually inputted. What you can do though is have dynamic selectors. So here, um, the the view will take a terms object as argument, and then use terms user ID to restrict uh, posts to only those that belong to the current user. Another thing to notice here is we're using a null, and that's because, well we have this default view here, which sets default values for the status and is, fu is future properties. Because usually we don't want to show posts uh, in the future or posts that aren't approved. But here, that's exactly what we want to do. We want to show pending posts and we want to show uh, future posts because sponsorships are scheduled in advance. So by passing null here, uh, we're actually removing uh, that field altogether from the Mongo selector. So that's a very handy thing you can do when you want to override or just ignore uh, default values in your uh, selectors. So uh, how do we use that view? Well, we use it with our good old uh, with list uh, container. So if we go to our sponsored directory and check out drafts, uh, you can see we are wrapping sponsored drafts with WhiffList, which is the container we always use in Vulkan to load data. And we pass it a terms object containing a view a parameter with user sponsor candidate posts. Now you'll notice we don't have user ID. And the reason why is because if we, you know, if we wanted to specify it here, we would have to hard code it basically. Um, here, this is just, uh, we're not inside any component, we don't have access to props. So we can't pass it from here. What we can do though is pass it from the parent. In other words, here we can pass user ID in the terms. So what will happen is that both terms will just get merged together and the view will come from uh, the drafts and the user ID will come from here. Now of course we could also uh, just specify the view at this point, uh, but I think it's a bit cleaner to have it here because it's related to the uh, to the drafts component and also it doesn't need to change so it can be statically specified in the with list options. So there you go we are loading um, all our drafts. So the other thing we want to do is handle the form. Um, how do we toggle between a new document or edit document form simply by passing a document ID. So if there is a, a post ID defined in the route, this will be an edit form. If not, it will be a, a new document form. We also pre-fill sponsor candidate as true because this is the sponsorship form and you know we'll always want every post created through that form to be uh, a sponsored post, or at least a sponsored candidate. 
And yeah, that's what we need to do for this step. Um, you know, by using with list and by using the, the router, we can pretty easily handle these, uh, these drafts and then load them in like this. But things will get more complicated for the next step where we need to pick a date.